I yeah, it was just a really well done game. Oh my, dang it! <laughs> okay, I want to try that again because that would that would be amazing if I can get that star that early. All right, so we start here again. No, 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 no. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. That is that is the best thing ever. Like I I didn't even know you could do that. Oh man. Well done. Okay, let's actually do this. Uh the mission I was go going for originally. <laughs> But yeah, but uh, going back to the whole topic thing, like I, I will say the sequels, 3D Mario sequels, do um, improve. Definitely do improve on what 64 established, and then it, and then it tried to be a lot more complex with how it handled things. Um, to with uh, varying degrees of success, depending on who you ask. Uh, hence Sunshine and its mixed reception. I I personally enjoy Sunshine quite a bit, but it does have some elements that I'm not particularly fond of. Um, but you know, I still think it's a good game, but yeah, I can understand why people, some people wouldn't like certain, well, wouldn't like it in general and just certain parts of it. Because, you know, it's not a perfect game. Neither is this really, but you know, I still... I still really enjoy playing the 3D Mario games. Even 3D Land and... Well, 3D World is a great game, but, you know, that's a, another can of worms I don't really want to get into right now. I, I'm not saying... I, I'm not uh, going to be bashing on 3D World or even 3D Land, even though I think that game's re as, really as safe as you can get. But no, I still think they're good games in their own right, and yeah. Who walk here? Who breaks in? Wake, ancient ones. We know like light. Rumble. We know like intruders. Now battle. Hand to hand. And now we get a boss fight that Nintendo I just really have a really big fetish fetish with because I what well, I don't know what it is with Nintendo bosses and and hands all the time like. I don't know, I, I, yeah, I don't know, like, you have Master Hand, Crazy Hand, you have this, and then, like, there's that paint, you, you have that, those hands in, uh, Kirby, uh, in a Rainbow Curse, and, just a bunch of stuff, really. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting boss, it's called, and, of course, you have to hit its eye, because, again, Nintendo bosses to lo love having eyes as the re weak spots. To be fair though, that's... Sega Sega's pretty guilty with that as well. So I can't harp on Nintendo too much with that, but yeah, eyes are just... Yeah, video, video game standard weak spot. It's just kind of, kind of a thing. Alright, now we're going to get 100 coins, so it's going to be a little bit annoying trying to get 8 red coins again. Oh man. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Okay. That just happened. Alright, let's try this again without doing... That. No. Yeah. Oh, 100 coins. Yippee. Yeah, it's not. Oh, no, well, one thing I can say is like the music, like, I'm not really sure how I feel about it just using Leave All Lava Land 
lot like the theme because it, it, it works fine enough for this but that's what, kind of what I mean meant earlier in earlier the last session where this game has a decent amount of music but it doesn't have like too much and you can really tell when it when it comes to stages like this and later ones where they kind of just use earlier earlier themes and it kind of feels it just feels weird like again it works fine enough here but it would have been cooler if they just made a new theme for the desert like i don't, I don't know but it is a desert level like it's um it has some pretty cool stuff in it like the pyramid area is pretty cool but the um just the the desert normal desert area is eh, like i've seen worse but as desert levels go it's uh not really that interesting like desert levels don't usually uh like they don't really interest me that much most of the time. Like, there are some exceptions like Gobi's Valley and stuff like that. And, um, they're not always bad, like, bad or boring. Like, they're most, most of the time they, it's just that they're boring. It's not the fact that they're badly designed. It's, like, deserts are just not interesting to look, look at. And if you have, like, boring level design on top of it it's not really gonna be that much of a fun level so yes well it, it, I it's definitely better than a lot of other desert levels in gaming uh, it's still not a like it's still not it, it still wouldn't like uh, be on my top 10 levels list or something like that but hey, I can't complain too much because it does have a pretty cool pyramid area. So, you know, you can't complain too much. It's just the fact that you, you're you going to be spending most of your time in the outer rim of the level. So, yeah, don't, yeah he can actually steal your, your cap and that makes you deal double the damage, I believe. So you don't really want to deal with that. And he does keep it keep it after you finish the level as well, if you don't take it back. So, yeah. You're going to have to be careful about that. Oh, come on. Actually, no, that helps me. So now I can just go over here. Careful there. I'm not sure if I'm happy with the amount of coins I have. Um, you know, I don't want to risk it, actually. I'm gonna, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, these coins are good enough. I'm just gonna risk it if I try doing anything fancy around here. Because it's... The thing with this level is that it's just really easy to accidentally just get into the quicksand and die. So I just, I'm just not gonna risk it. And it looks like you can get back out. Like you should look up here. You can see a little hole. I don't know if it's possible. Like, I'm pretty sure someone can actually try and keep wall jumping up there. And it will probably result to nothing. So. Alright, where is this going to be? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't want to miss that. And I think if you let this, you just go into the normal sand and let you let yourself sink really slowly. I do think that counts as a death. So yeah, don't be an idiot. <laughs> you don't really need. I don't really need to go into depth with that. Okay, so I didn't exactly. I didn't uh, waste my time by getting that star early because we still had to go in here regardless because there is another star that requ requires you getting a bunch of specific coins it's like um oh okay i didn't actually know about that 
but um, yeah, you learn things that learn things about games all the time. Like that's what I like about games. Like even if you play a game your whole life, you may not know everything about it as far as you know. So yeah, that's something new I found out. So yeah, you, it's just that's one thing I like about playing games. Like you just constantly find new things. Well, not constantly. That's kind of over over selling it, but you know what I mean. Like you, even if you play a game for years or your entire life, like I said, you can still potentially find new stuff about the game, and it's just really cool. Like you can you can watch someone else play it, or be playing it yourself, and you find see something new. Like you watch uh, a playthrough, and then. They do something you never even thought of. Like, that's something that's just really cool with games. And that's something that's going to be really apparent, I feel, with Breath of the Wild. Because there's so much to consider in that game. So many options. And... There's just so many different things you can do in that game already. From, like, demos and stuff. And it's going to be crazy to see, like, what people come up with uh, in that game. So I'm, yeah, I, and I really get a bit paranoid of that enemy whenever I go on those, because it's so, it always feels like I'm, I'm going to end up hitting it. But yeah. Okay, sorry about that, just, uh, I just did some little, sp well, not really spring cleaning, but I just deleted a few unnecessary files on the computer, because it was running low on space, and I don't want to abruptly cut the session, so, ah, uh, yeah, we're good, because I, yeah, these, basically what this star is, is that, like uh, Bob, on, Bob on Battlefield with that one mission, yeah, where you had to get those five uh, coins. It's basically the same thing, except you're following a specific path instead of flying. But there we go. It actually works out in my favour that I didn't have to do that. That, that I did, uh, got the other star in this place stupidly early, because then you would have to see this area two times. So I guess it works out. And uh, yeah, they intend you to just shimmy across that, but we ain't got time for that. All right. Yeah, this is where we were last time. Yup. Mmm. Jump down. Yeah. Okay. Dang it. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit annoying. Okay. That took way too much time. That took way too long, right? I don't know what was going on in there, like. I don't usually have this much trouble with this. Like, I don't know why that took so much effort. Regardless of such, we're done. Let's not die here, though. And I believe that's it. Yep. Alright. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, First, let's see if the... Did we get the other star from this guy? The uh, rabbit bunny thing? I want to say we did, so I'm just going to go ahead and just move on. But, hey. I just wanted to be safe. Because at this point, we don't go back here. 
But before we go to Bowser, we actually have to fight, uh, well, not find, but, well, we have to find stars, but obviously, but we have to do an another level. You see, there's a thing behind it. I there's probably a, a way to glitch through that. I'm pretty sure someone's, well, I'm pretty sure if you find, look at, like, look for uh, speed runs and stuff like that, you can obviously find stuff, but, yeah, there's, oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay. Well, there's a little cheap, cheap enemy. I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, actually, no, I knew that was a thing, but that is really weird looking. I was gonna say. Is this the right one? Tornado isn't the right thing. I know that for a fact. Come on. Oh man, this is really bad. Oh. Okay. So I'm just gonna go around normally, normally, and just hope that I get it, get the right order. And this tornado isn't making things any easier. But yeah, the calming music once again just makes things so much better. Yeah, I don't even want to talk over it. It's just so calming, so relaxing. What can I say? What can I say? What I don't even know. Nope. Why is it so hard to touch this? Giggity! Why? Why'd you hate me, game? Okay. This time, nope. Not gonna go through that whirlpool. Come on, there we go. There we go. Woo! Okay, let's see if they... Let's see if they show up. What if I choose this one? Uh, I don't see them anywhere. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Lovely. There's two of them. Oh, whatever. I'm just wasting air. Whoa. <laughs> Let's not be stupid right now. Pass. And run out of her, like we do. Alright, let's actually go to the other section now. Doesn't seem to be anything to do around here yet. Because there is one more star in that area. There's only two stars there, but... Doesn't seem... The Manta Ray doesn't like to be... Doesn't seem to want to appear yet, so... We don't have to do that later, unless I'm just missing it, which, which very well could be the case, but hey, I'm just going to do, th this is basically the same idea here, you go through all these hoops, and let's try this, alright. There we go, one more, yay! 
an obvious metal cap we need. So we're gonna go get one. And I think I, I've watched playthroughs at speedruns rather where people I don't not not this one, but like the one in Jolly Roger Bay. Um the where you the 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 what the the star where you have to go and fight the current with a metal cap or whatever, like this. Um, the speedrunner guy, the speedrunner AGDU, basically swam really hard and fast. Yeah, jokes. Ha. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they went really crazy with this. Just went as fast as they could, and then they ended up getting the star. So, yeah, it is possible to do it without the metal cap. I don't know about that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if you could do it as well with this. But since, since this is more of a, a uh, semi, well, I'm not the best. Like, I'd say this is a, a little bit over a casual run. Like, I, I'm generally a pretty, uh, like, I try not to be too serious with games. I know, I know a decent amount of cool tricks in games, uh, depending on, like, obviously depending on the game. Like, I know a lot more about Sonic games than, than uh, most other franchises, but, yeah, like, I tend to not take games too seriously most of the time, because when I do, it just, it just kind of soaks the funnel soaks out the fun it's a weird way of saying it but you know what i mean like i just like to have fun with games like there are times when yeah i like to be a little bit more serious with certain games and certain genres like fighting games yeah i'm gonna be a little bit more serious but at the at the core i still like to have fun have fun with it so you know gamers Enjoy games in different ways. Let's just leave out that leave out that Okay And now let's actually do the star win that it's asking for us and Yeah, like I've tried trying to get a hundred coins before getting this star But it just doesn't seem to be possible so, yeah, whatever. I'm not. Even, I'm just gonna give up trying to get the uh, star early, the with the manta ray. So, yeah, just forget that. But yeah, like one thing, why I uh, won. Uh, why? Well, why I tried to get the hundred coin star um, before this one is because as soon as you get this star. It's going to open up that little um, area where you see like that bow that Bowser icon. And once that, once that opens up, you'll be se Yeah, that there. Once that uh, goes away, it will basically make this... Uh, basically, you'll be able to get sucked into this little area and I think it like send you out into like into the like I th no i think it's outside the castle it's like it's like uh, the um metal, metal cap level where you can get sent out and get and go sent and go back it back outside the castle and it's really annoying because there are some coins over there where where the um what is it where that's where that area is. And you see the portal moving a little bit. Yeah. This game, I always thought you had to get 60, star 60 stars, but no, in this game, you have to get 70 to beat the final boss. Or to get to the final boss. Unless you do so. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I was right. It, didn't, it doesn't appear until a little bit later. Okay, so basically the same kind of deal. Ca camera, please. 
The same get basic deal, uh, deal with this guy. Go through the rings. If you miss one, it yeah, like that I messed up there. But it pretty much resets. It's kind of finicky, but you can manage. Like I, I think you sh you kind of have to just go through them when the at the right time. I guess I don't know. This is failing. Come on. There we go. Two more. Come on. There we go. Of course. Just right above the whirlpool. Because we all definitely have to have that. And now for the hard one of the hardest levels to get a hundred coins in. Like there's so few coins in this place that it's very easy to miss some and not just barely get below 100 coins and just having not being able to uh, reliably get those coins in that specific section where that bowser thing was um before like it just makes things m even more annoying <laughs> 